Hello everyone, uh, long time, so I have some time to work on the um, my custom 3D printer uh, after a long time. Uh, hopefully I have more time to make videos and to update on my project. Um, it's not my main main project so I put it on the back uh, for a bit. I still have uh, a lot of work to do so anyway so this is the frame that I'm going to be putting together today and I'm going to show you uh, I won't show you you know how to screw in the the frame but um, I'm going to tell you what I'm planning to do so basically uh, the size of this uh, The size of this frame is so it's 900, 900 millimeter large and 1200 millimeter um, long. Um, I have um, uh, this profile and I want to put uh, um, basically like this but um, let me show you a bit closer let me put you here so this, this frame here this frame uh, is going to be um, the bed is going to be sitting inside the frame um, so this this um, long profile here is 900 millimeter again will will fit the table not the table the the the, the plate where uh, the heated plate is going to be um, I also have brackets to let me show you here uh, uh, let me move you down here. Sorry. Here, I'm going to show you. I have these brackets. There are uh, six. Uh, I think there are sixty millimeter. So I'm going to put this one on the corner here, and these guys will be sitting up here. So the the uh, heated bed is going to be sitting inside here at least this is the plan right now and it should be level out and i have all the screws so uh, to to make it rigid uh, so it should be easy to level level the heated bed um, so let me put together this frame so that uh, it's much more clear what I'm doing. Okay, I'll see you in a bit.
Okay, I'm back and I put together the frame and let's say the legs for the frame. Uh, I need to level it out a bit because it's moving, but that's okay because under the underneath these legs there are uh, screws that I can manage and I can level out uh, through the through the uh, floor. So everything is pretty good. Just need to uh, fix uh, some little gaps here. Um, nothing major. I just need to tighten up some screws and stuff. So the frame looks pretty good here. Let me show you. So this is the entire uh, frame. And again, it's 160 centimeter by 900. Uh, the, so I have some space for uh, the heated bed, if I wanna make it a bit larger or longer. And also I have some space in length so that my um, X axis that is moving along has more space to, to move both in, in length and in width um, yeah basically that's it um, now i need to i'm waiting for uh, uh, linear guides to put on the side i decided to go through uh, through the um, uh, flat linear guides instead of the rounded ones that i have um, because um, there's going to be a lot of weight uh, in the x-axis so where the heated um, um, you know with with all the the um, the weight of the x-axis um, and the in the heating induction heating systems that I'm putting together. So my guess uh, um, the entire X axis will weight uh, probably more than 10 kilos. Uh, so I wanna make sure that it doesn't flex like this. You know, let me, let me show you. So the, the X axis is going to be right here and it's going to slide like this and so I want to make sure that it doesn't bend this way or this way uh, when it's moving um, so I'm going to have uh, linear guides that goes through perpendicular to here with with screws uh, attached to this uh, aluminum extruder extrusion um, so that's it for now this is the frame next step is going to build the uh, um, the x-axis with the um, dual extruder induction i need to test the induction system too i'm going to do a video about that and um, that's it uh, please leave a like uh, put a comment if you have any subscribe to the channel and i'll see you next video